Greetings gentlemen, ladies, old school game snob here, and I just discovered the Sketchfab plugin for uh, Unreal. Uh, does it work in Unreal Engine 5? Um, it does on the, the alpha release. Uh, does Is there a version for... I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I haven't tried that yet. I'm using a source build, so I didn't really want to muck around with it. It's easy enough to just grab uh, the version 4.27. Anyway, here's Sketchfab, and then of course migrate to your project. Here's Sketchfab. All right. Um, so, of course, you can browse around all the different things you want. Let's check out some Star Wars things. X-Wing, I don't know. Um, let's see, staff picked. Okay, let's just go for all the X-Wings. There we go. Look at all that. It's neato stuff. This is so cool. Uh, and then, of course, when you find a model that you like, you just go ahead and click Download. Download selected. Must be logged into Download. Didn't I do that already? I'm quite sure that I did. Well, anyway, um, there we go. That was weird. I definitely did that before, but I guess it forgot. It was, you know, like at least two or three minutes ago, so that stands to reason. Anyway, I have downloaded one of my models here, and basically once you once you download it, you just drag and drop it into your folder, drop it into your game, and I have this super cool ship model that I just downloaded from Sketchfab. Man, that's easy. Sketchfab is, is super cool. That is so easy just for, for models. How did I know that? Why? Because I'm an Unreal noob, still relatively speaking. So <laughs> if you're also uh, uh, fairly new to Unreal like me, you might know about, not know about this little plugin, and you might want to grab it. Head on over to github.com slash sketchfab slash unreal dash plugin uh, dash releases, and that's, and that's where you find it. You can uh, go actually to the uh, installation page. Basically, to do the, here's the thing. <clears throat> Very easy to install. Go ahead and download uh, the Windows version, Mac version, whichever version you're using for the Unreal Engine that you want to use it for. Uh, you can grab that folder. So here's the uh, here's the, fo the zip folder that it came in for me. Basically, you open up the zip folder, and what you're going to want to do is drag and drop the, the root folder, uh, the first folder that you see inside of the, uh, the zip file that you download. Go ahead and drag that into your project folder. Uh, so here's my project folder. Uh, there's content, config, etc. If you don't have plugins yet, just create it. Just right click, create new folder, create plugins, and then drag and drop the Sketchfab uh, plugin into your uh, into your your plugins folder. Uh, go ahead and restart your project, and when you do so, by default, it should already be enabled. You should see the uh, Sketchfab asset. Uh, ske sorry, Sketchfab importer exporter etc etc and then from there just head on over to window and go to asset browser and then you can get all those models you want by the way you may also want to keep in mind that some of these models are okay to use commercially in your games some of them are not uh, some of them require some of them are for more like an editorial license etc uh, is there a way to filter that I'm not really too sure apparently I'm not logged in again so I guess kind of silly you have to log in every single time um, but that's okay that's a small price to pay since it remembers all your stuff anyway um, oh here we go here's here's how we see okay so basically how it works is this if you see author must be credit so there's certain certain conditions right Creative Commons, actually, and you can check out the Sketchfab website to uh, figure out what all these are for. Commercial use is allowed. Author must be credited. So each one is going to have sort of a different, uh, different potential usage condition. So just keep that in mind if you do use these in like commercial projects or whatever, to check out that you're using one that has a license, which is okay to do so, or, or what the conditions are. Okay, well, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Man, this is cool. I'm stoked. <laughs> like that's, that's so easy. The library is huge. Uh, and, uh, and it's so easy to grab your models. Man, oh man. The things you don't know about as a fairly new noob to Unreal, even though I've been like learning now for probably like on and off almost a year, like six, seven, eight, nine months probably. Um... And yeah, there's still, you know, basic 101 stuff like Sketchfab that I didn't even know about that, that, you know, as being so easy to use with the plugin. And so, hey, that's the point of this video. If you didn't know about it, uh, now you do. All right. See you guys later.